Hey everybody, Dom the Baptist back with another installment of the Trinity Moments. And you don't have to get very far in the Word of God before you start seeing the plurality of God. For example, in Genesis chapter 1, starting in verse 26, God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. And so God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Now I've heard arguments from people who would deny the Trinity saying that God is talking to the angels when he's saying, let us make man in our image. But there's two problems with that. The first problem is, is that the angels did not have a role in creating mankind. It's God alone who created mankind because it says, and God created man in his own image. And the second problem with that is that the angels are not made in God's likeness. They are different. They look different. They are ministering spirits. And we, as human beings, are created in the image of God. Male and female created he, him. So again, there's multiple multiple examples of God using plural pronouns to refer to himself like Elohim is plural Adonai is plural and so on and so forth and again this teaching is not taught explicitly in the Old Testament but further expounded upon in the New Testament and once you finish reading the New Testament and going back and reading the Old Testament, I promise that you will start seeing the Trinity everywhere in the Old Testament. For another example, Genesis 19. And the Lord rained fire from the Lord out of heaven. So there's two lords in that verse. There's one Lord on the earth speaking with Abraham. And then there's another Lord in heaven who's raining the fire and brimstone upon the filthy, disgusting Sodomites. So, again, God cannot be one person, not one singular person. And as a matter of fact, God is three in one, as 1 John 5, 7 says. So, uh, yeah, just check your Bible, study it, you know, learn it, live it, love it, apply it. And I will see you guys later. God bless and have a great day.